Lisa Fortier, Kaylee Trong, and Yvonne Ejim. We'll get an opening comment from Coach Fortier and then we'll open it up to student athlete questions. Uh, please silence your cell phones if you haven't already. And for those on the Zoom call, if you would like to make a uh, ask a question, please raise or click your raised hand icon. Uh, it was just a lot of fun. I, you know, I hope hopefully these guys had fun. Hopefully you guys had fun. Um, you know, really exciting to be here and to have the energy that we had in the building. And um, you know, I like that our team struggled and we found a way to overcome a little bit of struggle in the first quarter. We we weren't at our best in that quarter, but. When you can be not at your best and then go and, and put consecutively 20 points um, each quarter or more after that, we're just, we're just tough. And I, our defense carried us a little bit today. And you know we, we were able to get enough stops to put it together. I, I loved how we shared the ball. And um, you know our, our team, like, like a lot of teams, is better when we're having fun. And it was evident somewhere in the middle of the second quarter, third quarter, both everywhere besides the first quarter, kind of, that um, it was a really fun atmosphere and they were, they were playing fun out there, playing loose, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm just really happy for these guys. We'll open up to questions for student athletes. Please identify yourself and your affiliate. Uh, briefly with the spokesman of you, Kaylee, you got those two quick fouls. How were you able to play through that and kind of focus? Um, just leading on my teammates. They they were fighting. They were telling me, like, we're going to be OK. Um, it happens. I mean, it, my second one was kind of like a boneheaded play. Uh, probably shouldn't have tried to screen the player off. But um, besides the point, I had a lot of my teammates in my ear just telling me, you know, we're going to need you at some point. Um, and so I was just keeping myself level-headed and just try to stay focused. Yvonne, uh, you probably don't know this yet, but uh, you now have the most field goals in one season for a Gonzaga player. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, but it came with a lot of hard work. I mean, you, you were probably had contact on every play. I mean, it was a physical game. Mm -hmm. yeah. How did you play through that? Um, I think, if anything, um, I also like thrive off of phys physical games, so I really enjoy that part. Um, but I think, if anything, just like staying confident and consistent and not only my shots, but my teammates' shots as well. I feel like even if it's physical and I can't get a lot of shots down there, knowing that my team can still score, um, I think that's really the premise of it. And from that, I get energy and scoring too. So I think um, just leaning on them, leaning on our offense, leaning on each other, I feel like that's really what's helped my offensive game flow a lot this season. One more for Kaylee. Is it on? Is it on? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, have you guys saved that one two two zone for in your pocket for this time? Uh, we've always had it. We've implemented it we'll, here and there. We'll sprinkle in, but we're yeah, yeah, for sure. We're man man to man heavy, but you know, we work on our our zone a lot too. Any other questions for the student athletes? Dave Tucson, Lee University, UC Irvine. Uh, for Yvonne and Kaylee. How much did you guys kind of feed off the energy of the home crowd tonight? And how much would you say that was instrumental in the victory? Um, I feel like it's just great um, anyways, whether we have a packed gym or not. Like our Zags fans bring a lot of energy. But today, especially with um, the student section just being filled, I think um, especially when on our runs, like we just felt the energy, especially when we come back on defense, like everyone's cheering, everyone's clapping, not only around us, but on our team too. And I think that really fed into the intensity that we kept up throughout the game. So very thankful to everyone who came out today to support us. I think that really helped us today. Yeah. Ditto. Um, <laughs> the energy is insane, but it plays a lot into momentum too. Um, it it helps us kind of up our our energy at least. Uh, so yeah, we're we're super grateful for everyone that showed up. Will Moppin with the Inlander. <coughs> Yvonne, you mentioned enjoying thriving off of a physical play. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say it went away, but. Everybody seemed to find a way to sort of negate it a bit there around the start of the second quarter. What changed for the team there that allowed you to open up the game a little more? 
Yeah, I think if anything, um, it also just came from us just continuing to shoot. And from that, we made shots. And I feel when we do um, finally find our flow, then everything kind of like pieces together. And we have a lot more options that then open for us just because we have a lot of offensive power on this team. If one person is making shots, they're taking away. Another person can make shots too. So I feel like in and of itself, when we find flow, it just helps us everyone get kind of like their rhythm back again. Uh, Cameron McCann, the Gonzaga Bulletin. Uh, you guys were able to uh, win the turnover battle against the UC Irvine team that looks to only get turnovers and uh, really push that pace, but how were you guys able to do that? Uh, just staying calm and having each other's back. I know there was not one possession where I felt like somebody ran away and everyone was coming back to the ball and um, we didn't leave anyone on an island and that was definitely one of our keys um, to success. So. Yeah, I think we also had a lot of composure as well, just each, each of us and then playing together and not leaving anybody on an island. I think that really helped us just stay in control. And then uh, I got one more. Um, mm -hmm. I think it was Brenna yesterday had mentioned that Gonzaga basketball is when you guys are smiling and you're having fun out there and working together. Uh, when do you feel like that sort of clicked in this game specifically? At what point? Probably start of the second quarter, I feel like. We were like up in defense, up on offense, and we were just like, we were having fun the whole game after that, for sure. Not to say that we weren't having a lot of fun in the first quarter, it wasn't the greatest, but like a lot more fun, yeah. Any other questions for the student athletes? Thank you, ladies, you're dismissed. Thanks. Thank you, good luck, good luck Coach Lisa. We'll open it now for questions for Coach Fortier. Coach, UCI got off to that hot start offensively. They outscored you guys 17 to 10 in the first quarter. What was the message to the team coming out in the second quarter? Well, I didn't. I didn't think we weren't defending very well. You know, we're we don't have a quarter goal on on what we're doing. We more by percentages, and in, in that quarter, they were well above the percentage that we you know typically try or aspire to to hold teams under defensively and so that the message was you guys we got to get stopped so we can run you know what i mean we we love to transition um their pressure they, they were bogged down if they if they kept scoring then we're bogged down offensively because they're able to get into their press and so it was just that we, we got to have each other's back um we, we have to get to the help side where we need to get the help side if we need to double team somewhere we need to double there um, but just kind of follow the scout a little bit better and so that we can get some stops so that we can go on the other side. If not in transition, at least just with some flow that they mentioned and, and not have to go against the press attack every single time. You guys have played that 1-2-2 two, two zone at different times here and there, but you haven't had to play it a lot this year. Uh, was the plan, I mean, you were basically in it for three quarters. Was that the plan to stay that long in or, or it was just effective? Uh, yeah, you know, we have several presses and several zones and a couple, a lot of different options in man. And typically, you know, I, I like, we like to change things up. We have, since I was an assistant coach, I used to run the defense. And I think sometimes I get stuck in one type of defense. And I, I'm, I'm trying not to be like that. And you know, we were encouraging the team to play free. And so I was also telling them that I was going to coach freely. And so be ready for us. They don't shoot a ton of threes. Um, and you know, there's a few of the players who do, and then the other ones, not so many. And then the percentages are a little bit lower uh, for the besides a couple. And so we just thought that that was an option that we might have if we were having a hard time keeping them in front because they're athletic and they love to drive the basket. And so we had talked about it. Um, you know, we run the 1-3-1 one, one more, a little bit more this year than we have the 1-2-2 the two, two or the 3-2, whatever you want to call it. And so we were just ready for whatever we needed to have, but trying to stay ready. And then when it worked, we decided to keep in it. There was a lot of times where we were in it. I think in that second quarter, we were in, supposed to be in it until they scored on us. And then we got a lot of stops. And so even when they did score on us, we decided that we liked it. So practice it some. I wouldn't say it was a huge part of the game plan, but just I think it was more about how we were, we were going to give what we had and throw whatever we needed to throw at them. Yeah, we, we needed stops. At 17 points, we, we haven't given up 17 very often at all. And so uh, we, we needed stops so that we could get baskets. And yeah, I think that that's what we needed. We needed some way. So uh, Kaylee getting her second foul, you know, that, that kind of coincided with things where we, we knew we weren't going to, we're a little bit depleted right now, so we're down to only eight. And so we weren't going to 
risk that and try to play her intermittently to give Lynn and Brenna and Esther and Claire some of those breaks, but specifically Lynn and Brenna. And so we, we needed to use it in that way, um, which I think a lot of people do that to protect people when there's foul trouble. So it, it worked out well today. Uh, Brenna Maxwell, oh, did I just say my name again? Cameron no, Kent, you're okay. the Bulletin. Bulletin, you're okay. got it, Cameron. Uh, Brenna Maxwell, known for her shooting. Today she didn't have her best shooting day, two for seven. Uh, but still, on the plus minus, she was plus 32. That was, I think, 10 higher than the next player on your team. Speak to more than just her shooting. What does she do for the, your team? Well, she stretches a defense. You know, she she is a threat. It, it's just like uh, shot blockers, great shot blockers. It's not always the shots that they block. It's just a threat of the, of the block shot, right? And so with a player like Brenna, they were in her shorts the whole time. They had to help. They had to switch. They had to double. They were trying desperately not to get let her get a three off. And that just brings attention. You know, same thing that happens sometimes with Vaughn. Or really, we've got a lot of those kind of players in our starting lineup. But um, with her, she was she was bringing attention, and that opened up with people who share the ball and pass the ball well, don't turn it over a lot. Uh, that creates opportunity. And so we have to remind her of that sometimes. That you don't have to make all the baskets. Just being out here and doing things how you're supposed to do them. That's effective for us as well. And and no one has to carry everything. And so as much as each of you individually and Brenna as well just wants it desperately, um, you know, let the team be the strength of our team and not have it to be you. And so it was a little reminder of that. But I mean, they were flying around when she got an open look. Like everybody on the, the Irvine bench was shouting, "Like, no, no, she's over there!" You know, their whole it seemed like their whole section of fans were t telling them too. Everybody in the gym knows that she can do, and so I think that's that's what she brings, even when she's not making shots. Plus we, other stuff. I mean, other stuff too. But we have a Zoom call from Sophia L Lavender Magazine. She muted. No, she shouldn't be. We have a Zoom question from Sophia at Lavender Magazine. Sophia, please unmute your computer. While we're waiting, any more questions in house? Is this on? Yeah. Ben Scrippy from the Spokesman Review. Um, and forgive me if you've already answered this, but I, I would like to know your thoughts about the, at the beginning, the atmosphere in that, in that arena and the, and the way it just kind of, it had such a, a great feel, those first few minutes. I mean, maybe not for you because of what was going on <laughs> on the court, yeah. but can you? Yeah, so it's funny. When I was an assistant coach, I remember it being so loud. And I have a very vivid picture. We were playing Iowa, and my son was asleep in the stands across. And I've never heard the, heard the kennel louder before. And it seemed loud when I came out today. And then I told – they were talking about the energy. And I said, I didn't – were the students loud? I didn't hear them. So I think that when, when the game happens, you sort of, like – uh, there's that, but I could feel the energy in the building for sure, especially when we finally made a three. I mean, it took us a while, and we're a really good three-point shooting team. So, um, you know, maybe maybe in the beginning, and then maybe it was a lull because we didn't give them a whole lot to cheer for uh, for a small portion of the game. But then after that, I did I did feel the energy rise, and I heard them a couple times. And you can tell by the looks on the players' faces, and when they make one of those shots, or Vani does something, or we get a steal, or we get a stop. I, I, I heard it when we started getting stops. That's actually when I started to, to feel it was we got a couple stops in a row. We started to make our, our run. I don't know if that was probably it had to be the beginning of the second because there wasn't a lot of run happening in the first. And uh, that's when I started to feel it then a little bit more. N no disrespect to the crowd. I'm sure it was really loud. I think that I just have trained myself to block it out like my son did 20 years ago or 15 years ago. So. We also have a Zoom question from TSN Sports Center. Please unmute your computer. Chat? No. 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 So maybe it's not coming through. Nothing. Okay. One last question for Lisa. Anybody? Alrighty, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.